Welcome to Financial Freedom and Finance channel. Here we upload videos to give you a helping hand in reaching your financial goals. We hope to give you tips for achieving financial freedom using finance one video at a time. If you are new here, do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos about financial literacy. In the lesson today we will show you a different perspective when we talk about debts. General people have a very negative idea of debts and don't realize that debts can be powerful and generate a lot of money. There are good debts and bad debts. Let's start with the question that everybody asks. Is debt good or bad? When you mention debts to people, they automatically think of credit card debts, student loan debts, and all the personal debts that people use for jumping on personal things. So, in general, people have a very negative idea about debts. That is what people learn in the traditional education system. But they don't realize that debt can be powerful and can be used in a good way to generate revenue. So, there are many people out there called financial gurus who say you should totally live debt-free. And you can find other people that advise you to cut the credit cards. You definitely have to cut your credit cards if you have no idea how to control your spending. But is it possible to live without a credit card? You need them to go shopping, go out to dinner, rent a car, etc. Okay, back to good debt or bad debt. Let's analyze or go back to the financial statement. We have income, expense, assets, and liability. So, with no question debt falls into a liability. If you buy a house for example, how many people believe that a house is an asset, many correct. But that's not true, your house is a liability. The same is with cars, they are liabilities also. Let me explain. If you are a regular person and have a job, you pay the mortgage, and the money goes out to the bank. The money is flowing out of your pocket, so it is a liability. Remember what an asset and liability are, the assets put money in your pocket and the liability takes the money out of your pocket. If you rent the house and put money in your pocket, that's an asset. In other words, if you live in the house it is a liability. You have to pay a bunch of stuff. If you rent the house and put money in your pocket it's an asset and you have no debt. So, the properties you buy rent them. Imagine if you own multiple properties, and each of them gives you a net income. It's debt because you bought the properties, but it's good debt because it's putting money in your pocket. What makes it good debt? Always follow the cash flow. This is the type of debt that millionaires use to generate income. They buy multifamily buildings and rent them by door. The net income after paying expenses is millions of dollars of cash flowing into their pockets in passive income. Unfortunately, what most people do is go to school and have this huge student loan debts that they have to pay for the rest of their life and it's a negative debt. Again, the cash flow is going out of their pockets. Let me put good debt in a different way. You borrow money from a lender, buy an asset, and cash flow money into your pocket. Also, I would like to mention that if you buy a piece of real estate and make a mistake it turns into a liability. If the renters leave the property, then that asset becomes a liability, and the cash flow is out. To conclude this lesson. It's nothing to do with buying a house, a car, or a student loan, it has to do with where the cash flowing is. When the cash is flowing into your pocket or income statement, it's an asset and a good debt. But if the asset is taking money from your pocket, it becomes a liability and it's bad debt. You should know how to control the direction of the cash flow. That is it for today's video. I hope you were able to learn a thing or two about good and bad debts, handling your finances, and where you should get started if you want to achieve financial freedom. Please subscribe and we will see you in the next video.